Hello and welcome. In this credential, you're going to be focusing on accessibility. Specifically, this credential focuses on audiovisual accessibility. So your audio content, your videos, really primarily think of instructional videos on this, but a lot of these skills will be helpful when you're using audio recordings and podcasts in class as well. So specifically, the goals for this micro-credential include strategies that you can use no matter your role or your learning environment to create accessible, universally designed audiovisual content. You'll also have the opportunity to apply your skills by creating accessible instructional resources. This specific credential is made up of a few performance tasks because you're gonna be learning how to use different types of audiovisual accessibility options. You'll be using auto closed captioning, accurate closed captions, as well as transcripts. So you'll really learn several skills here that will support you no matter what type of instructional resource you're using with your students and the modality of that resource. Why are we doing this? Why is it important to focus on audiovisual accessibility? Well, if we're thinking about the Universal Design for Learning guidelines, this really hits those pieces that has to deal with multiple means of representation. We use videos a lot in class. I'm doing one with you right now. They're clearly a helpful instructional resource and it's one that people gravitate to. However, we need to make sure that our learning resources are accessible for our students. It's legally required and it's the right thing to do. It's also helpful that if you provide videos that they're in a format that's not intimidating for our students. Some students might need to have the option to listen with their ears, but also like to see the words on the screen as well. So closed captions is an accessibility feature we'll talk about in this credential and is a way to make things more welcoming and inclusive for your students who rely on those features. It's also a great option to support some of our students who are deaf and hard of hearing or for some of our students who are learning a new language and need to see those words or might be struggling with an accent. It's also helpful to really learn how to expand your teacher skills in the digital age. Learning how to build accessible content is something that's legally required, but it's also just a helpful skill to know as you build your own content and become an instructional designer. You wanna make sure your content is accessible to as many of your viewers as possible. And again, the last little piece I said here is that this is legally required if your students have it written in their IEP that they need to have access to closed captions and transcripts. This is something that's really helpful for you in making sure you fulfill those expectations. In terms of UDL guidelines, it really connects to a lot of areas on here. Like I said, providing closed captions and accessible audio video formats really represent this representation piece in the UDL guidelines. It makes sure that your students have options for reception. It supports language and symbols. It also supports their comprehension of information. But again, it's also helpful for recruiting interests as well, so your students feel included and welcome. So as you go through this learning path, I did break it up in three different things, automatic closed captions, accurate closed captions, and transcripts. So those are the big three concepts that you'll be looking at but you're also gonna have some opportunities to create your own instructional resources you can use with your students. I hope you enjoy this and that it's helpful. And if you have any questions, let us know.